I've begun every class I've ever taught by asking the same question. And that question is, what is your purpose? Who are you? Why are you here? What do you believe that you've been put on this earth to do? And how is that sense of purpose connected to service that's needed throughout the world? I've always believed that knowing who you are makes who you are worth knowing. And I've said that time and time again in different events we've had on campus over the past four years. But it seems now that that question or the answer to that question rather is more important than ever. As people are dealing with the realities of today, those realities are coupled by the realities of yesterday. Uh, the questions that we had that were left lingering that are perhaps more apparent to us today. The decisions or choices um, or perhaps even job opportunities that we said yes to a few months ago that are not the same today. The dreams and expectations, the outfits, the high heels, and even the cap designs that we created for our caps and gowns for this ceremony or the ceremony that we thought we would have during this time are not the same today. And it leaves us with a multitude of questions. And one of those questions I believe is, what's our purpose? What's the purpose of this moment? I believe that everything that happens in our life happens for a reason. And I am convinced that each and every one of you, graduates of 2020, are uniquely prepared to not only participate, participate but to cultivate a unique outcome during this time. You have been prepared for such a time as this, even though you might not have known it. And so my question to you is, what are the gifts that Xavier has helped to cultivate in you over the past four years that are needed right now? How can you not only celebrate this moment, but expand your sense of self in terms of not just an individual self, but a collective self? During this season and in seasons to come, our understanding of who we are and why we are here who we belong to, how we engage with one another is all the more important. 2020 has brought on a lot of unique experiences, some of many that were unexpected. And as will be true in your life, um, you will find yourself in many situations that perhaps are unexpected. As graduates, you are moving from one journey to the next and entering into a new terrain. But everything that you experience, every opportunity that you have had helps to cultivate your ability to perhaps toil the soil um, and create or help to create the terrain that helps to prepare the world for the next generation. So I'm excited for you. And as you think about what your tomorrow looks like or perhaps how you take better advantage of today, I want to ask you to think about what is the work your soul must have? What sets your heart on fire? What are you passionate about? What grabs your attention or perhaps keeps you up at night? There are a multitude of things that are happening all over the world. Some of them incredibly powerful and inspiring. Some of those things are not so inspiring. Actually, to be honest, Many of the things that are happening around the world right now are absolutely terrifying. And it is in those things, too, that we find a sense of purpose. Those things that perhaps keep us up at night or give us pause, help us to understand not only who we are, but why we are here and what's the work that we must do. Each and every one of you have been uniquely prepared to not only um, contribute to your communities, that you will return to or perhaps join in this next leg of your experience, but to contribute to the evolving of humanity, which right now is incredibly important. We need you, Musketeers. Xavier, over the past four to five or however many years it took to bring you to this moment, Xavier has helped to prepare in you an understanding of what it means to be all for one and one for all. And 
as you can see from the looks of the world around us. Understanding what that statement means, advocating for such a statement, um, and helping to maintain a sense of collective being is incredibly important right now as division and fear continues to tear communities apart. So you, Xavier Musketeers, are not only celebrated today, but you are challenged to continue to do work that helps to set this world on fire. Many of you have participated in experiences both inside and outside of the classroom over the past four years, where you've been challenged to think about your biases. You've been challenged to think about your understanding of social justice and how do we do work that is rooted in justice and in love. And in those challenges have been opportunities for you to expand your understanding of vocation, but also for you to expand your understanding of belonging and how it is that we not only create space and maintain space, um, but we use space to cultivate a sense of belonging for those around us. So that we're not just walking past a neighbor or walking past an individual and not seeing them, but that we are sharing and creating space with one another that lets the people around us know that we see them, that we know that they are there, and that we are willing to use our time, talents, and treasure perhaps to help them experience the world in the best way possible. Each and every one of you has an opportunity, whether that opportunity is one that you predicted and knew was coming, or an opportunity that perhaps has now fallen into your lap as a result of what's happening. You have an opportunity, you have a moment to not only make a mark, but to cultivate and help humanity to expand in a unique way. And we need you. We need you, Xavier Musketeers, to hold on to your sense of purpose. We know that we individually have purpose, but also this moment in time has a unique purpose and serves a unique purpose to help us figure out what's next. I've heard many folks talk about how this moment has caused everyone to sort of have a moment, or the majority of individuals rather, to have a moment of reflection, a moment of pause, where perhaps life has slowed down a little bit so that you might better understand how you spend your time and what's most important. As we think about the gifts perhaps of this season, those gifts can help to set us on a perhaps different path or to realign or better align our feet um, with the path that is going to move us forward. Each and every one of us have the opportunity to expand the terrain for what love looks like. We know that the ultimate experience, or I believe rather, that the ultimate experience in life is to experience love. And I believe it was Arupe who said that if you fall in love, it will help to decide everything. And I would follow those words and say, fall in love and stand in purpose, and you'll never fall by the wayside. Purpose serves as our roots, and it helps us to cultivate experiences that are affirming, experiences that go beyond the career, that go beyond the moment, that go beyond the place and time. I know many of us are experiencing a season of mourning and a season of grief, and that grief may be brought on by the loss of family members and friends. It could be brought on by the loss of experiences and expectations. That grief can also be brought on right now as a loss of dreams, and dreams perhaps that are needing to be deferred because of our current moment. Um, and that grief brings with it an energy. And I wanna invite you to not only acknowledge that energy and know that it's real and know that we see and hear and know um, that this time is causing all of us to feel a lot of different things, but to also know that that energy has strength in it and that we can use it to cultivate something positive, something new, something great, something needed. Um, so understanding your purpose right now um, can be a way of figuring your way through that grief as we cultivate new traditions and new realities for things that we perhaps would have celebrated in a different way, like your graduation. 
So to you, class of 2020, Xavier Musketeers, I challenge you to find your purpose or perhaps hold on to it as you move forward and decide what the future looks like. I want to remind you that each and every one of you have the capacity to choose life and to choose life more abundantly. Each and every one of you have the capacity to set this world on fire, to live lives that cultivate an understanding and unique perspective on what it really means to belong to community and to invest in community and to inspire the people around you to do the same. Our Xavier community is built upon Jesuit values to challenge us to not only see ourselves in the way we see the world, but to make space for folks who might view the world differently or have different experiences or use different language to perhaps express the values that we hold to be true and most dear to our hearts. As we think about how 2020 continues to evolve, I want you to think about how it is that your values continue to expand and how you use your purpose as a guide to not only live in this moment, but to live with this moment. Purpose, rather, not only helps us to stand in time, but it helps us to move through time and to be anchored as we deal with the reality of the things that we cannot control. Knowing who you are makes who you are worth knowing. And that sense of self-actualization, that self-awareness helps us to stand the test of time as we move forward and as we redefine and redesign what forward looks like. I challenge each and every one of you to understand and know and to advocate for a sense of purpose right now that anchors you in community, anchors you in the reality of knowing that your capacity to live life most fully depends on and is rooted and tied to the, co the capacity of your neighbor to do the same. So as you move into new communities, new job opportunities, graduate classrooms, whatever your next step holds, I wanna remind you that you are connected to a larger community, to a larger sense of humanity, to a larger collective that depends on your capacity to not only discover and use your talents, but to um, anchor and uh, pivot and use those talents to move this world forward. We need you, Xavier Musketeers, to create and maintain space for those values that matter most. And ultimately, that ultimate value is love. And so as you celebrate in a new way, your completion of your undergraduate experience. I salute you and send love to you and encourage you to stand in your purpose in a way that helps you to feel and know that not only do you belong, not only are you prepared, not only have you done the work to bring you to this moment, but you have and will have everything you need to continue to move forward and to uniquely contribute to this world in a positive way. Congratulations to you, class of 2020, and I cannot wait to see what's in store for you in this next leg of your journey. I salute you, Musketeers. Congratulations.